Dalen 75 Games. Welcome back to another video, Project 1999 EverQuest. I am with my Shadow Knight, and we are in Split Paw, level 32 Ixar, and I have full Dread Scale armor on now, and uh, been very much looking forward to trying it out. If I can target this guy, and uh, yeah, seems to be working out okay. We've had a few hiccups grouping in here, though. There's a, a set of double doors that. I guess if anyone knows the zone half well, you, you realize that past the double doors, everything gets tougher. But it, it's not just that. It's not just that they get tougher. It's that um, it, they just it's almost like unrest, classic unrest style pulling. <laughs> you get... Um, there's some kind of necromancer that's on a bridge when you open up the doors. And if you walk into the room, it will run, not towards you, but down into other rooms, I guess, to get to you, and on the way, of course, it's going to, uh... Well, he, he messed this one, so I'll just, I'll just stand here with my attack on. That's a bard. Uh, yeah, he'll pull, like, half a dozen guys on you, or even... There's a lot. <laughs> All I saw was a whole hallway full. And, uh, yeah, I, I died once, and there was a, a couple other deaths in about the hour or so I've been here. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit cursed back past that door set, but um, I mean, you can do okay here. I really picked up any fine steel morning star. There's lots of loot, like there's lots of fine steel. I'm kind of surprised by that. And uh, lots of little things, like lots of daggers of droppings. And there's, looks like there's a spawn there, but no, it's just a shadow cat. Oh no, it's not. It's a step up. So here's the set of double doors. I don't want to go inside there. You see, that guy is blue, but look, there's a necromancer up there. So you can see his pet. Uh, he, he'll run down. And what what is this guy con to me? He's what is this guy con? They're all blues to me, 32. But uh, there was tougher guys in there. I don't know. I don't know. Um, won a uh, wizard. I think we should be able to do it. So they say, okay, I was going to say, uh, the wizard comes, he's got the hammer. I don't know if it's even a wizard. There was a wizard there before. I'm just going to shoot. You can't hit them from here. What the hell? Come on. Okay, my bow's not working. I can't even see my target. Okay, I got aggro. Come on, door, open up. Come on. It's, yeah, it's just two uh, warriors. I think we had um, no. I, I just got nuked, but I resisted. I think it's more like a cleric. Yeah, it's a wrath spell. Okay, so I'll get him. This is the cleric. I didn't seem to touch him that time. Yeah, so he charmed this one. Bart's a very utility friendly in groups. Just got blown back. Siphoned some strength off it. As, as you know, doesn't matter what class they are, they still hit like you couldn't believe in melee. Hit like a ton of bricks. Oh yeah, so his his trump failed, I guess. He's a few levels lower than me. I think he's 30. 30 or 31 bard. But he can't seem to put up with the punishment that I can, obviously. 
deal with the punishment, I guess I should say. Uh, my son is throwing a fuss upstairs. I thought I would get a video of this while I'm here. Uh, I wish I could have started an hour ago and get all of it, but he was awake and I had to look, take care of him in the room, so... What is it? I haven't even looked at the faction. Uh, Guards of Kanos got better. Residents of Karana got better. Not like anyone cares about the Split Paw clan. So there's two mobs that spawn there. I think... Didn't I already show that? Sure, if I showed that already. So I pretty much pulled everything. Clerics are a bitch left on. <laughs> yeah, they are. Bunch of corpses at the entrance. That's typical for a dungeon in Project 99 EverQuest. And just EverQuest. Classic EverQuest. At least I don't know about... Um, newer EverQuest. So yeah, I wouldn't dare pull that Necro that goes up there. And obviously it will be different mobs that spawn. Um, okay, there's a mob over here. It's blue. Come on, come on, come on. I'm just going to go. I don't care if the dot hits or not. I just want to get the hell out. Oh, uh, I think it's just one. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. I hope to God it's just pulled the one. It's a... Uh, this is an enchanter. So an enchanter will hit you <laughs> with melee like this. I didn't see any pet when I went in there. I think he... I'm sure what, what we're dealing with out there. Snap, snap, snap. Yeah, he's charmed this one. That's what, what happened there. This might be a wizard, because last time I saw a staff on it was a wizard, but you never know. It's probably just a, some fine steel weapon. Or did he charm it? I don't know. Because I just saw him getting whacked. Come on, go down. Can I aggro it all myself? Yeah, it's dangerous to pull in past those doors, but once you kill everything, plus we have a uh, five, five-man group, so... I mean, you're just going to be sitting twiddling your thumbs for ten minutes. The spawns are not super fast. They're, they're just average. I don't think that this is a wizard. Uh, unless it already ran. No, it would have nuked the crap out of, of Mulian. When I first saw his name, I thought it was Mulan. <laughs> in the, uh, the group box. I can siphon some strength while it's still alive. Got it. Oh, there's one here. Yeah, that's my corpse down there. That's for my death. I pulled it. But, uh, seriously doubt I'm gonna get a res. It'd be nice, though. I'd get, like, what, 12% back? Get me all buffed up. <laughs> Oops. Well, he's dual wielding, so I don't know. I mean, if he's putting out greater DPS than me. Let's see. There's another one. I would have my pet out, but no, nah, just too much of a hassle. I have to keep telling it to back off. I mean, the, the corridors are so narrow that I, I can't, um, it's hard to pull from a distance, so. Lots of action in here, though. If I can get past the double doors and pull what I see there safely without aggroing half a dozen to a dozen mobs, and that's good. Uh, ringmail pants, 
what is this? Tan split paw skin. Just it's a lore. It's not it doesn't say uh, no trade or anything. That's a greenie. Let's get rid of the trash. Well, I don't know, man. I'm 32. If the ever, I'm pretty sure I'm the highest in the group by at least one level. So add. What the hell? Let's kill this greenie. Weird perspective from first person. You move so much. <laughs> Your whole screen shakes. Let's target this guy. Come on, where are you? Stun me. I don't know what he's doing. He has Anthem to Arms up and him of Restoration. I don't know, is the him of Restoration? At least he's got some kind of uber weapon that I don't know about. Come on. There we go. Sometimes the last few percent just drags on. This one's got this fine steel weapons all over the place. Like you could totally load up. Totally load up and uh, yeah, I went out to sell all the the low lower end items in Crater Fay. I had about a dozen of them. I actually sold just about everything but two banded pieces. I was actually quite impressed with that. I made about uh, three hundred flat off that, more than three hundred. That's my son. I'm gonna have to go get him. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to feign death. And I'll be back. Sorry about that, guys. Alright. Well... Whatever, they don't always go to sleep when you try to put them down to sleep. There's two here. Oh, this one's even. This is going to be a bit of a fight. Not sure which one he's going to hit. Siphon some strength. I guess uh, yeah, when I was faint death, I didn't, I wasn't regenerating, regenerating any mana. So yeah, my mana has not changed at all. Good hit, 63. But I have a, a buff on me. Yeah, so 161 strength. See so much going on here. I don't know what the red is. Is the red not a stun? I don't know. This is that tough one. Should be disease clouding. Yeah, my head's just uh, not really in it at the moment. Yeah, these are really good hits. I've never seen me hit that high. 66. Come on, go down. Yep, that last percentage lingers. Let's see if there's anything by the entrance. Uh, something. Of course, they always have their 
find steel weapons. This is a greenie. It's funny, I'm like, y'all come out and you when I first got here, there's just greenies and blues all throughout before the double doors. And now, like, I've run into yellows, the occasional yellow, and then there's been, like, a couple evens. Oh, I got an extra one. Yeah. At least one's blue, at least. going on here. Oh, this one is yeah, charmed. It's, it's just hard to tell what the heck one is charmed. Look at this one was really beat on. It's just a greenie though. Let's see. So he's been gathering them up from over here. Probably didn't brave the double doors. Can't really blame him. Let's see. So that necro's up there. I'm not wandering in there. I don't know. Maybe he did go in and grab him because there's been no spawn. I was gone 10 minutes. Come on. Loot. Oh, whatever. People looting all these fine steel. No, I, there's nothing here. I'd have to go into the double doors to get anything. But I don't want to kill us all. I mean, I was getting, like, chain stunned. So... It's the pause. I couldn't even feign death. And I'm a little leery about what, what's behind this door. What the hell? This is really dangerous what I'm doing. I don't feel comfortable doing it. Uh, I've already... Not responsible, but indirectly responsible for three deaths in the group, so... <laughs> it's just from the polls. I mean, I don't know what happened with, with the first time I pulled. Um, because I didn't... I went for the ad, ad, exit, and the group is in a safe area, so I think the bard actually pulled the it onto the group and killed the druid we had before who left like about 20 minutes after that. So yeah, uh, there's only so many things to kill, and uh, considering I've already died, this is how crazy it is inside here. I don't know why they haven't respawned. The this, this spawn is not fast. Not fast at all. Yeah, w oh, there's, there's a spawn. This was from the last one. I'm just going to pull it if I can. Can't hit him from here. Can't see. I shot at it. Prepare to get nuked. <laughs> I don't know, it must be like a cleric type. Yep. 202. That's a lot for for a blue? That's like level 29, 30. Please stop nuking me through the walls. Tough bastard for a wizard. <laughs> or, no, it's a cleric, but still. I uh, resisted. My magic resist is not bad. It's. Oh, does somebody throw endure magic? Yeah. I was going to say it's like 55, 56, but it's 81 right now. Which helps. <laughs> Definitely helps. Yeah, this thing has a lot of hit points. Wow. Nothing on it. Uh, auto split. Please stop doing that. I, I had a group. I must have had a group that wanted auto split because I hate auto split. Basically, a few people get the nice coins and everybody else gets copper. And there's one right here copper and silver. What's up there? Necro's gone. And target it. It's a blue. 
got it with my snare. <laughs> I just feel like I'm moving a little slow. It's all that frickin' copper and silver I have. I'm not over overburdened though. But I think actually, I mean, the way I'm pulling, it's quite a lot of pulls. It's not a bad experience. Probably good from level 25 to 35. Up to and including 35? I don't know, because we had a enchanter in the group, and he brought out his 30, his 35 enchanter, he brought out his 30 cleric. Uh, once we lost the druid. But I uh, don't know if he was getting that great of experience. I bet you some of these were green to him. Uh, there should be that one in the corner that I pulled. With the, the like the enchanter type. I don't see the necro. Yeah, there is that one over there. Go, go. Damn it, these doors. I should be going sideways. It's key to not getting hit. Where's your pet? Well, it's probably a warrior. It's not an enchanter that hits like a warrior. <laughs> it has the hit points of a warrior. <laughs> Gonna have to go in a few minutes. It's 3 a.m. here. Ah, that's our bard. Damn. I don't think I can really... Do the I mean he's the one enchanting if we get more than one pull. I don't know if we can do it without him. Oh, you hear my son crying upstairs. Mom's well, gotta go to sleep. I was up there like five times. Damn. Yep, that's what it's like. He's gotta go to sleep on his own. Pop. Had a raid at 10 a.m. this morning, Laughalo. That lasted four hours. That's not that bad. Come on. Go down. Hit, I mean. There we go. Whew. Yeah, where did he go? I'm curious. He's with Azure Guard. I don't know them. I knew one guy that was in the... This is the guy that originally helped me out back in my first week when I started um, uh, on my Ranger. Sky. Plane of Sky. Where are we? I don't know... Uh, I forgot the spot, like what I hit, what I grabbed. I, but I think this hallway should spawn pretty soon. And so should this coming up to the double doors. There should be a bunch of them. Yeah, if it wasn't for that necromancer up there that will go and grab everything, uh, I wouldn't feel so bad about going out. I mean, for all I know, it just goes right down, and it might. Oh, I'm getting hit. That's a green. Anyways. Kill the Sprock Lord a bunch. Had some trouble when we first got there on Island 5, but we nailed it after. I don't know, I've never been to the plains, not once. I know it's the toughest areas to go to. These gnolls are kind of remind me. I mean, I haven't really been through Split Paw that much, but they're reminding me of Black Burl. <laughs> All these gnolls. It's just not the same. I was talking to Needs More Buffs about it. And like, what happened to all the trains, like in Crush Bone and Black Burl? Like, what happened? I, I think Black Burl has just kind of gone in the way of the dogs with every all the higher levels. 
after the uh, the teeth. It's just kind of pathetic if you ask me, guys, whoever's doing that. If you're like above level 20 and doing it, I'm like, come on. Um, a lot of people avoid, lower levels avoid it because there's too many high levels in there camping everything. But uh, I, I, I have a, I don't know. I have one or two theories that uh, happened. First, I think that what they did with the spawn was different. Uh, not spawning the aggro. I don't know. It's the pathing. I think it has to do with the pathing uh, and the spawn. Because like the dungeons, they'll spawn more if if spawn more frequently if their mobs are killed faster. Uh, if they're kill, if quite a lot of them are killed, the spawn rate does go up. But uh, that doesn't explain why there's no trains anymore, because I just remember going in back in my first few weeks into Crushbone and there's constant trains and the whole groups getting smashed to pieces and. Um, <laughs> and and needs more buffs kind of thinks it's because people were just didn't know what they're doing back then and and maybe that that's what it was but I just think that there's more than that because I just remember it being always being like a bit of a challenge uh, going into crush bow and say you're between levels of eight to thirteen fourteen there's always trains there's always like Devin was always coming out with every half an hour hour there's a uh, Lord Crush or Emperor Crush. But you, you just don't see that. Usually, you go in there into Crushbone, and most of the time, there's there's no one even in the uh, throne room. There was today when I went in, but usually there's none. Ooh, what did this drop? Split paw, tooth necklace, oh, two AC, five charisma, five versus poison. <laughs> kind of useless. But I just think that something happened. Like the pathing was worse in uh, classic EQ. From the like the actual years that this game is supposed to emulate, uh, ninety nine to two thousand one. Last one for me, guys. Okay, I'll pull the necromancer. <laughs> yeah, it'll be the last one. Last time he ever groups with me. But I think the pathing has gotten quite a bit better. Uh, this is a, a example of it being bad, but it won't just jump down like all the MMOs, newer ones, have just jump down and come after you. But it'll just run run back and and aggro everything. Uh, there's no one here. There's nothing, nothing to fight. There's a guy. So I think the pathing, the spawn, has somehow changed, and I do think it has to do with people not knowing what they did back then. And it's just a lot more contained and tame. It's it's kind of sterile, actually, if you ask me. <laughs> I just remember. I remember that in Crushbone there was trains and they would beat up people in Divin and Emperor Crush and what have you would be running out to the entrance chasing after the people who aggroed him but I just remember Black Burl being even worse and I, I'm not saying for tougher mobs like say Divin, Emperor, no sorry Ambassador Divin, um, I'm talking about just constant flow of trains and you had to actually stay clear of the entrance because of that. But uh, yes, it's just not like that anymore. Uh, Black Burrow is like the worst. At least Crushbone has people going in of appropriate level. You don't see it being camped by level 30s and 40s. <laughs> oh, he's, uh, he's Bard has the group invis, so he's invising me because I'm close to him. Yeah, basically pulled this whole place. Uh, it's kind of like now. Uh, it's a little bit kind of. This reminded me of unrest actually, because this would represent going up to the upper upper floor, and there's certain ways that you have to pull the upper floor. Am I close enough to open it? Yeah. So there's that necro up there, and you don't have to hit it to aggro it. You just walk in, and it'll aggro on you. So that's what makes it dangerous. If we had an enchanter, I could pull it in a full group. Uh, another uh, a tank. 
Boroff tank and an enchanter with a cleric and uh, the tamarack is a druid. Uh, so with, with an enchanter and another off tank, now that I've cleared the bottom floor, there's three mobs there, I could, I would try just to see, because I mean, you got to get used to what's in there, right? If it was just a warrior, I mean, he would try to melee me and, and well, even in, um, all mobs melee you in this game. I don't know what the heck to do. You can only pull so much. So, yeah, it does remind me a bit of unrest. You can't go too far to the upper floor without getting, like, a wear bat on you that's about ten levels higher than your group. <laughs> or a uh, greater barb bone skeleton. Or is a barb bone skeleton? One of the two. There's one. Figure these guys should spawn any second. That's an even. Yeah, you know, these names really don't mean anything to me. Teshma. They're all Teshmas. <laughs> and the Terex. Yeah, I'm completely out of buffs. I could put my pet out now, I guess. Use the extra DPS. But Juno is a, a wizard, and heals ors, obviously is a cleric. And Tamarack is a druid. I forget what exactly Wave of Enfeeblement does. I'm going to have to look it up. Uh, obviously, it's it's a debuff, personal based debuff. Uh, I believe it makes them weaker, but in what way exactly? What are the exact numbers? That's what I want to know. The life draw. Yeah, these guys definitely have elevated hit points. Uh, for being blues, like they have a a lot of hit points. I mean, it's even, I know, but even the like with the blues, I can tell that I just have a lot of hit points. So, n nope, nothing spawned here. Yeah, basically, it's kind of cleared out now. I'm not going in there. You know what it aggroes you when it runs back down the ramp. And I don't know what's to the right side, but, you know. Tan split, sp split paw skin. Oh, that's that, that book I was looking at. Scroll, basically. Scroll made out of split paw skin. <laughs> and this is also a place that I really have, I, I had no memory of it. Um, of what's inside. I knew there's gnolls and that's about it. <laughs> I haven't been here. I think I, I took a peek in here with uh, Sarkis, my shaman, probably about six, seven, eight months ago. And just through the entrance to see what it look, looks like. But I never went even this far. And, and I'm <coughs> I'm still in the entrance area. We, we still are right now. I remember I did go with uh, my guild, Rift. I talked about Rift back uh, in my, my thoughts on Project 99 EverQuest. Um, yeah, I came in here with some of the the big wigs in the guild. I was second. I was Advisor Jail. This was my name. The role-playing guild. Dark Elf only. But, uh... Came in here, I know we, we, we battled some gnolls, and that's... I think it was only the one time I came here, and I just absolutely had no, no idea how it works. I mean, if you're the tank, especially a polling tank, you gotta know how everything works in the dungeon. So, I mean, there it's pretty easy, So this entrance area. It's just like I was warned about the doors, how everything is tough back there. And I kind of had to figure out my own, but cause caused a few deaths. I tried to feign death the second time I, 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 
I, I didn't pull the Necromancer twice, just the, the first time. And I just, when, when I took a step in, that happened. But I went after, like, it was a wizard, and I was... I uh, maybe it wasn't a wizard. Maybe it was, like, a cleric. I was getting chain stunned. I couldn't even feign death, because there's a guy beating on me, and the cleric's stunning me. And I tried, like, over and over. I bet you I had a few fizzles, because my abjuration is, is only, like, 43. <laughs> No buffs, guys. What's going on? Excuse me. <laughs> Coming strength. I have... 141 strength, just with my own buff. 156 now. Yeah, so I think your your damage only goes up with the more strength that you have. Uh, there's damage caps, of course, but... They're actually not bad. A lot of my stats aren't bad. With all my armor on... Oh, I keep hitting C. I'm used to playing Dragon Age. Um... Oh my armor, I have 109 stamina, 131 strength, that could be better, um, 95 agility, wish it was over 100, and 115 intelligence, which I'm kind of proud of that, skin like steel. So I have to get a new cloak. I actually thought that the only thing I needed was some better earrings and a belt, but my cloak is also, it's just a very nigh high cloak, plus two strength, plus two agility. Um, wearing the purity belt, plus two strength, plus two stamina. And um, I'm thinking about going, and these are golden amber earrings. I think it's called diamond dine, diamond dine earrings. It's plus four intelligence and plus two strength. I think they're like 400 or, was it 600 each? Between four and 800, <laughs> something like that. I could definitely buy it. I've got over 3k in, in money. Probably about three and a half. But um, for the belt, I was hoping to go with Flowing Black Silk Sash for the 20% haste. Which does stack with uh, the, the spell. Haste spells. I mean, that could give me 50% speed. Which would be really nice. Uh, also, one day I want to get J-Boots, but that's not really an equipment that I need to upgrade. That's just um, something would be nice. And, uh, I mean, I have my Circlet of Shadow here. I've been using it every time I travel. I haven't... I, I Fly Sticks explained it to me adequately. And uh, I, I know certain areas where I can use it. I mean, they, I remember going into Dalner back with my old Shadow Knight. I have not seen the Cly since then. I haven't gone down that far. Just as far as I went in, was it like my... Uh, Mystic Scale Armor 3 or 4 video or whatever it was. I think it was 4. It was a real pain in the butt to get get those uh, drops for the last... It might have been the Bracers, actually. Yeah, it was the Bracers for uh, my Shaman. Ixar Shaman. But down there, there's Cly everywhere. They're kind of like a cross between Sarnax and Ixar. I think they're actually like a lost Ixar-type tribe. Maybe they started to look different over as time went on. But uh, I used to go down there with my Shadow Knight, like, solo. And um, I would feign death a lot to get through. If I uh, couldn't handle what I pulled. And, um... Yeah, there's a, a weapons quest I need to... The, one of the Crusader's tests is down there. I'm gonna have to rest a bit. And uh, I will have to go face the Cly. Uh, I'm thinking about doing that... Maybe the week after this, another Crusader's test. Because there's seven, be eight, when uh, Velius comes. And I've got the first four already done. So I'd like to do five and six. I think one of them involves me going out to Feriona Vi. And another might have me going to Kerns. I'm not positive on that. Or, no, uh, probably is Dread Scale. I think there's two, two on me. This one's green. Yeah, there's two on me. 
kill the greenie first. And better get this guy off the wizard. Oh, come on. Getting stunned. Well, this one's hit really hard. There's a greenie too. Are they all green? Oh, oh this is a blue. As long as I'm getting experience. I got experience of the green. That would have been a, considered a light blue then. Which is now, I guess, forever gone from Project 99 EverQuest. I'm going to miss the light blues. At least you, you know what you can get experience from and what you can't that way. And these guys are just not looting rainwater. Uh, okay. Don't know what that's about. Maybe a quest? Yeah, they're also not dropping. It's inside a dungeon. They're really not dropping much coin, so... Stupid necromancer. The other guys have not popped yet, so... Great big paw right there. <laughs> and a split. Split right there. Living up to the name, I guess. Yeah, I think the most sterile of all low-level dungeons is actually, um... Well, they're kind of... Crushbone is, uh, usually has a good number of people in there at any given time. Uh, it's befallen, it's just... Most of the time I go in there, there's no one inside there. Totally underutilized. Um, what I find is that people... They, they just tend to really... In Project 9, they congregate in certain areas. Is that Necromancer gone? Yep. Go, go, go. It's a blue. Probably going to get nuked in a second. Yep. That's got to be a Cleric because it hit me. Uh, hit me with Wrath. Twice. Twice. Yeah. For a total of 285. Okay. You're not going to do it a third time without me at least fighting back. Just for that, I'm going to siphon some strength. Uh, damn it. I'm getting healed now. Where are you going? It's all about the nukes, this guy. In my, uh, wouldn't have been the last video, would have been the video before that, uh, the Dreads, uh, the Dreads scale, where I was trying to get the boots, boots of Zorash. I'm gonna sit in med. Oops. Get my pot of water, put it up in the front. Uh, I've been uh, weakened, so my strength is down like 15. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, there was a, a wizard that had J-Boots. She was actually doing really well. She was quad-kiting whatever mobs out there. She couldn't deal with rhinos, though. For some reason, rhinos are extra fast, so... Rhinos were an issue for her. But um, she asked why that area that we were, hunt you know, trying to camp Zorash, why there's no one else there. No one. I mean, because there's a lot of good mobs that were my level. Around, I mean, give me would have given me experience, but needs more buffs. Of Sixty, and I'd rather he be grouped with me so he can see my health than uh, not. So, yeah. So she asked why, and I and I my I had to think of it for a minute. I, and my response was that uh, this server's maybe peak time eleven hundred. If you went back three four months, it would have been thirteen hundred. We we seem to have lost a few hundred people. I think there was some mass bannings going on. Uh, Obviously, some people were bad. Uh, heard needs more buffs. That told me that there was a whole bunch of plat that was found that was uh, shouldn't have been there, like duped plat, and it was destroyed. Found on a few accounts. But um, I think that because the server population is low compared to say what it would have been back in classic for your average blue server, would have had like two to three, maybe even four times the population. Um, People don't spread out. They go to what they know is the most efficient and safest 
well, in this game, efficient is safest, really. Um, Philbin. Wasn't I grouped with that guy? I know that name. It's bugging me. Philbin. Want another wizard. Yeah, they just group where they feel it's safe and... Uh, So they don't spread out. People aren't spreading out and taking chances, which is kind of what you needed to do in order to get experience when there's people all in the safer areas. Well, your leader, Juno, you know, please send him a tell. So that that that's my understanding. That's how I see it. Why? Certain areas are just, I mean, it's good experience, but it's just totally underutilized. Uh, and the reason why that those ruins would be underutilized, I mean, if you had a, a full group, it wouldn't be so bad of, of people around level between 35 and 40 in the over there at the uh, Sarnak ruins that were camping at that time. It's just that there's so many wandering mobs, like there's rhinos and tigers constantly wandering, wandering by, wandering through the damn ruins where the Sarnaks are. Could really use backstab right now. <laughs> okay, come on. Hit the damn thing. Okay, my strength is back. That would also explain lack of hitting power. But there are some he'll get it to NK Spires, he's coming back. Okay, I guess he left prematurely. Where are you going, buddy? You're green. Another example that I remember is always full up on people was uh, Lake Rathatir. And this is pre pretty much empty when you go in there now. You're lucky if you see a couple people. Oh, it's already on someone. It's just disease. Disease cloud them. Both. And Lake Rathatir, around level, two, if you get a couple people, level 18 to 24 is really good to fight the Aviacs and the Spires. They're kind of like mini Spires. But uh, it's completely, I mean, I've seen a group of like three people late last year, 2013. Uh, they were there when I went there with my ranger. I, I was like level 20. I'd forgotten that uh, rangers suck. <laughs> they, they do. I mean, it's just I couldn't solo one. Uh, yeah, they're just tough. The AVX. I guess uh, you you would team up with another person to have to do it. I probably could have soloed it if I was like level 23, 24. But that's when the they're not worth as much experience anymore. <laughs> it's funny how you run sometimes. Well, I'll loot this. I feel bad looting so much. There's so much stuff. I have three daggers of dropping. Hit this one up with my dot. And the, the funny thing is, like, I'm not complaining that there's not that many people on the server. I actually think it would be nicer if the, the population was at least doubled, so you'd have t two to 2,300, or, t or sorry, I'm getting tired, um, 12.30 a.m. 2,000 to 2,500 people on w would be nice uh, at peak. Um, the, then there's the issue 
of uh, people capping all the money making spots and then other people not being able to get in there and then people get kind of ticked off and they get uh, you know camping arguments uh, uh, like I said there was this one guy that I was talking to he was trying to get at the very thing I have a circlet of shadow and uh, I don't know why he couldn't get it. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't go after the big money spots and with my shaman, and I don't have trouble making money. But, uh, I don't know. Um, it's Vlastro, yeah. That's who I'm talking about. He he had trouble getting the Circlet of Shadow, and uh, unfortunately, <laughs> he needs more buffs. as like, three. Uh, I know they're lower, but he would throw them on his corpse. So you're able to use that uh, corpse bank, is what he was saying. Regis Philbin is here. I think I already hit it with Engulfing Darkness. Hit it up with some Strength Siphon. Just gonna let them know it's late. Uh, Half an hour is adequate time. And there are people that, uh, it's, it's very nice and almost chivalrous. I'm saying that word right. Chivalrous. Uh, to get someone to replace you in your role. I don't ever do that though. <laughs> Sometimes I do. I've done it a few times in the past. Could use, uh, yeah, more health. Thank you. Who all? Southern Karana. Nope. Who all? South Karana. Oops. Oh god, that's embarrassing. Um, no. <laughs> Seems so. There was only seven players when I came into South Korea, anyways. Uh, Saturday night, I mean, I think there'd be more people. This one. Shoot my bow at it. Don't need a long range bow in this place. Excuse me. Ooh, right past me. There are no players in request that match those filters. Okay. Who... Yeah. Like, what's, what's the, um... The zone called. The actual when you you zone into it, it's going to say Southern Karana, I think. South. Who all south? Karana. Uh, there's nothing. Is that guy in the corner? Yeah, he is spawned. There's no necro that I can see. I'll go over here and shoot it. Can't hit him from here. Yep, got him. And the door closed on me. Open up. Should run on an angle. Philbin Fizzle Spark. 
Yeah, I was saying uh, about places being camped. Uh, circlet of Shadow, um, obviously it was given to me by needs more buffs. and Costs, what, 3, 4k normally? Price will go up once Velius comes out because they'll, they'll nerf it. The uh, duration. Like, like, that's it. That's how fast. And I can be running when I use it to go invisible. You see the print, the uh, brackets around my name. See, it's off now, it's on again. Well, I'm running, so it's just absolutely awesome. Great for pulling, I suppose. Like I was going to say in Downer, um, when you go down there, I used to have to feign death a lot, and I could use, see using the Circlet of Shadow to kind of break up the mobs. Uh, so, it, I mean, it works faster than the aggro. On, it will turn on you, so. Excuse me. Whew. Yeah, I'm forced to do midnight videos <laughs> for crying out loud. It's the only way I can do them. My time, and then I lose sleep because I'm up. <laughs> Currently uploading. Um, this is the very next day after doing uh, Dread Scale, my fourth and last Dread Scale video, which is currently uploading right now. And I spent all bloody day working with Adobe Premiere CC 2014 to uh, get it to work. I had issues with the sound cutting out, and I think it's linked to the running out of space on my, uh, my C drive. Which I don't even. I didn't want it to go on the C drive. I don't know if I was given the choice, because I, I never put anything on my C drive, besides Windows. But it's taken up all the space there. I had like 40 gigs worth of space, now there's nothing. And when that happens, it tends to bug out, and you'll get clips that uh, don't produce any sound when you go to try to uh, edit the video together. And I was thinking, okay, well, maybe it's just because that's that's from using the editing tools if I actually encode the video uh, the sound will be there but I spent five hours waiting for the video the Dread Scale Quest video and uh, lo and behold when I looked at those clips that weren't playing sound from the, in the editor in Adobe Premiere Editor they weren't playing in, in the final version of the video either so I had to redo it that's ten hours I've been waiting to get this uh, video I just finished probably around 10, 10.30 my time. Yeah, that's what happens. You get used to a zone and uh, it comes like second nature and what to do. That's always the uh, first thing to do when you don't know a zone is to try to figure it out. If there's someone in the group that knows. And you need to mine them for data. Other than that, it's a little bit of trial and error involved. So, being that as that may, if there was like double the population on the server, um, yeah, uh, money would be a little bit, quite a bit more difficult to get, I suppose. I know people like to hog the hill giants. Uh, apparently, there's the Seer Sea Fury Cyclops is also a really good money maker. That's what needs, needs more buffs likes to use, and that's really contested. You can't actually camp it and claim it. It's all contested. Uh, it's first first person who hits the mob that's that's theirs. And there's always I guess I've never seen it. Never been to the island. Uh, I guess that there's always a crowd of people trying to pull them. Hill Giants in... Uh, I know that there's some in West Karana. There's quite a lot in West Karana, I think. West Karana's a really long zone. I've seen them there, too. I just, I've actually gone and tried to hunt them. I don't, From what I've seen, I don't think that... I've seen people hunting them there, but I'm sure that they do. Uh, I think the number one place to go for Giants, though, that people like to do is uh, Wrath Mountains. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm killing them fast. I'm at 80%. When I logged in, I was at 48 earlier. 
Uh, that was probably what eight eight o'clock my time. Maybe it was seven thirty actually. But uh, if I hadn't died, I'd be only like less than ten percent off from getting my next level. Level thirty three. Stupid necromancer. I, I'm actually I'm tempted to pull them, but uh, yeah, I just I don't want the. If you saw what I saw, <laughs> there's probably no at least another room back there where it goes through. There's a lot of mobs here. No one's looting them, but yeah, I don't like to loot. Uh, don't like to seem like I'm trying to take everything. There was one guy in the group that was taking everything. I don't really care though. Because he already announced that he was going to do it. And if you say something, he said, if, if no one loots it, I'm just going to loot, loot everything. If you say something, then it's not so bad, but if you just start doing it. And I think, I mean, you got to be close. It's, I think it's easiest for, the, like, a tank to, you know, grab the dead mob and loot it right away. I, I really have to get my abjuration up. Oh, I'm just going to run. Uh, yeah, I knew I was going to get hit. Heart Flutter. Um, it's a necro. I'm... Oh, I was encumbered. I, was, I did get heat blood and heart... heart <laughs> Look how small this pet is. It's green. I'm going to go after the boss itself. Otherwise, it'd be stupid. Reduces strength. Oh. You should not be hitting like a level, like a warrior of, of your level. I wonder if this is the necro, because I, I did see it moving. I don't know if it came all the way down the stairs though. Lots of stuff. I'm actually getting a leg. Oh, that's an even. I didn't, I was interrupted, so I need to actually hit it. Really hit it with an aggro spell. Yeah, I want to go look to see if that, that was the Necromancer. guy hits pretty hard actually he's got a lot of hit, hit points and hits hard oh but I've also been <laughs> no my strength is back yeah it'd be nice if the uh, druid hits me up with another strength Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna go look to see if that was the necromancer on the bridge. It's possible it was, possible it wasn't. Well, there's nobody there now, but that doesn't mean anything. There's two of them casting spells nearby. Yeah, like I said, I really need to get my feigned death up. One of them is a uh, magician. This is just blues. But I don't know, I think it pulled everybody from here and everybody in this group, or everyone in this room as well. Yeah, because I, I can't can't really go up, so... I'm pretty sure that was the Necromancer on the bridge. 
There's two there. I mean, I've got two healers. I assume that's a mace, so it's... This will be a bit nasty because it will be a magician and a cleric. I don't know. I, I just don't feel comfortable. Too many deaths already tonight. Playing it a bit conservative, but... Uh, yeah, there's, there was the one poll with the enchanter in the group, and uh, I did dot up the... It was a freaking yellow <laughs> wizard. No. <laughs> and uh, it was also accompanied by, like, a blue tank. So we killed... Or blue warrior. We killed the warrior, and but he... The enchanter had mez the uh, wizards, but the, the wizard had gotten loose and started attacking the enchanter. And considering he was in trouble, I... Uh, I did use my disease cloud on it to try to snap aggro. Um, but I uh, couldn't get it off him, so he couldn't couldn't remez it. Because when they mez, they really they go up their sh the mob sh shit list really high, and he couldn't remez it. So yeah. Got a bit of a tarnished name <laughs> with the group because of that. Well, I mean, we have two wizards. I forgot about that. Yeah, my my brain is getting tired. Could try it. Pull this guy. Nobody up there. Nuke me. Resisted them quite well, though. Oh no, I think. Uh, let me see. That's that's my uh, without any buffs. That's what my magic resistance is sixty one. So I think it's pretty good. Let's see about pulling that those guys. I'm gonna ask. Oh, what the heck? He healed himself. Oops. Text from my wife. This phone, man, really pays to have a good phone. I don't have a good one. Okay, so once I uh, mana, oh, I guess he's he's just when AFK our, our healer heals ors. Once he's back, I'm gonna see about pulling those those two guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to pull two other people in that room first, two other gnolls, because they'll have respawned. So I guess I'll be back and wait for heal Zors. Okay, so before I go, before Juno goes, I think, unless they've spawned in here, please don't spawn. Ah, one did. This is not the one I wanted to pull. Um, not this one. Come on, guy. But that magician and the cleric. Seems a little dangerous, though. But try for it. That one in the corner might have spawned, though. Hopefully these ones by the door won't have spawned. Okay, it hasn't spawned yet. 
Necro hasn't spawned. If I shoot it from here, if I slow like the cleric down. It resisted. Oh god, go open, open. Jesus. Come on, open, open, open. Make sure it's not gonna I might pull that one. I resisted a whole bunch of smites. Come on, where are you? No, I'm gonna zone it. Come on. Yeah, not gonna do that. Three mobs and a pet. If everybody in the group got up and started zoning, then they're idiots, okay? I mean, you should know that by level 30. I didn't... I am zoning. Um, unless they have aggro on them, it's not going to affect them at all. But that's good. There was another mob, obviously, or maybe it came from that room that had spawned on the way back that I saw. But uh, I can't. I'm not going to try that. Let's go back in. Zone I am. I don't have... Maybe that's another <laughs> thing I can... <laughs> used to have a, a zone thing that would be a shout train to zone train to zone yeah if you guys all zoned no oh crying out loud I think that they they um they gated out <laughs> unless I go back and they're all dead that would not be cool He went invisible. Yeah, every, everything's cool. Yeah, no one died. Pull that with so many. Uh, plus two of us are leaving. But it's been good, guys, so I'm going to leave, uh, stop the video here. Thanks for watching, and uh, remember I do this every week until I'm on to my next MMO. Bye-bye now.